In this video, we will start with the binomial theorem. You will find this on page 82 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. The binomial theorem. n factorial and n over r notation. Now that n factorial is an exclamation mark, but you say n factorial. Okay. To obtain the coefficients of this, a plus b to the power n, where n is any positive integer, we can extend Pascal's triangle up to row n if n is small. However, in Pascal's triangle, you need to know the numbers in the previous row in order to obtain the numbers in the next row. When n is large, it would be too tedious to evaluate all the previous rows of the triangle. The two notation n factorial and n over r are used to ease the process of finding the coefficients. We define n factorial denoted by n with an exclamation mark as okay. It's n multiply n minus 1, multiply n minus 2, multiply multiply 1, where n is a positive integer. For example, if you have 4, then it will be 4, and then 1 less, 3, 1 less, 2, until you come to 1, and then you multiply. So if it's 5, you start with 5, multiply 4, multiply 3, multiply 2, multiply 1. Note that 0 factorial is 1, and 1 factorial is also 1. Okay, let's look at an example. Find the value of each of the following. 6 factorial. So basically, this is 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Press it on your calculator, you get this. But I want to show you also how to press it on the calculator. You must look for the sign with an X and then that exclamation mark. Now, it's usually just, mine is just underneath my shift button. And then, you first press the 6, then you press shift, or second function, and then you press that x factorial, and then equal. And you will also get 720. So it was 6, shift, or second function, then x factorial equals 720. Okay. And if it's 2, then I do the same. But I just want to show you without a calculator, it's 12 times 11 times, and then it starts repeating. So the repeating cancel out, and then it's actually just 12 times 11, which is 132. If you want to press it on the calculator, it will be 12, second function, x factorial, divide 10, second function, x factorial, and then it's equal, and you will get also 132. Okay, very practical, very easy, very straightforward. I just want you to do number A and uh, think number B. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. I will now read the following for you. Okay, let's start. Number A. 9 factorial. So actually, it's meaning 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Okay, or I can just press it on my calculator and I'm just saying 9 shift x factorial equals and I'm getting 3, 6, 2, 8, 8, 0. That will be my final answer. Okay, and then number B. Now, the reason I gave you B is because I want you to do the cancelling out. In the sense, okay, now this is now actually, okay, maybe it's good. So it's 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 3 times 2 times 1. Basically, this cancel out. So it's just 5 times 4, and that will be equal to 20. And remember, if you press it on the calculator, first press the 5, then press the shift, 
or the second function and then search for the key x factorial and then divide and then again the 3 and then again second function or shift and then again x factorial and then and then equals okay I think I'm just I didn't press it correct let's just I was writing and pressing so it's 5 shift x factorial divide 3 shift x factorial equals yes now it's correct and then I will get my 20 okay and that's how you do it I will start with this in the next video